thing that I really want to understand is how you guys keep track of everything that's going on in the show. Because from week to week, so much is happening. The relationships are constantly changing. You want to know the how truth? do you do that? Want to know the truth? Yes. Okay. The actors sit around a table <laughs> at the table read, Break it down. and we go, "What's going on?" <laughs> we literally have to like get old scripts and go back and because it does it gets things get kind of like wait when did i tell you are you sure that you know that because i don't think i tell you until later so we have to do that sometimes because in a show with as many plot twists as we have you have to sometimes go when did i find that out and do i know that in this scene so we have to kind of go back to the textbook and go figure it out. Something. Even the director, you know, like yeah. we'll call, call upstairs and go, hey, um, when did that happen? What episode did that happen in? Are you sure that, you know, that kind of stuff. So the collaboration, you it guys all kind of help Yeah, it's coll co collaborative confusion. <laughs> yeah. I like that, I like that. <laughs> yeah. So obviously you've been on the show for quite a while. Um, I talked to a lot of the cast at the beginning when it was still a new show. Now you guys have great fan base, great viewership. How have things changed on your end? I'm starting to get recognized from this show, which is kind of great, great. because yeah. usually the parents don't get a lot of love on a show like this, which is fine, because mm -hmm. it's, the show is focused more on the girls. You know, it's an ABC family show. It's sort of teen-centric, as it were. But I have families coming up to me on the sidewalk mom, dad, and the girls, and they'll all go, we watch your show together. We love your show. We love the kind of parents that you are. Even though sometimes I'm not the greatest, you know, I, I don't have all the answers. Yeah, sometimes I don't have all the answers. <laughs> but they love that we don't, that we make it real. That parents don't always have the right answer or all the answers, or they struggle with the answer. But I love the fact that this is one of those shows, and I struggle with this. You know, I have a 14-year-old daughter and a 9-year-old boy, and there are not many shows that we can sit down and watch together. Now, even on this show, sometimes i got to close my 9-year-old boy's eyes. <laughs> What's going on? But it's nice to be able to watch it with my teenage daughter, I have to say. I like that. Now, you guys have wrapped up uh, the last 12 episodes. What can you share with us? What are you looking forward to seeing? We are introducing a new character to our show who is also deaf, who works at my car wash. And what's cool is that John, my character, is kind of unknowledgeable and maybe a little insensitive about the deaf thing sometimes. Not, not that he means to be insensitive, he's just kind of like, you know, oh yeah, I forgot you can't hear. And the boy who's playing, who's deaf, he's insensitive about hearing people. So the two of us kind of clash. Oh, so it's kind of interesting relationship. So it's kind of cool. Yeah. Interesting Funny. And who have you really um, gotten close with behind the scenes? Who well, do you connect with? Who do you spend your time with? I mean, uh, look, I mean, the, I'm grateful every day to come to work with such a great cast. But, but most of all, I'm grateful that Leah Thompson, who plays my wife, is such a good actress and such a great egg and such a pro. And, you know, I've been in situations where the people that you're working with aren't that way. And it's just so much nicer when they are. What do you hope viewers take away from the show, specifically related to bringing awareness about the deaf community? Because that's what we're here for, for the yeah. panel. I mean, I hope that people have the same journey of discovery that I had, which is to sort of realize that there's this whole world of communication out there that you're not aware of. And there are all these people that don't hear stuff, and, and yet they have completely rich and beautiful lives. And it's been a real eye-opener for me, and I hope it's an eye-opener for our fans. <laughs>